Bass are primarily visual predators. The first thing that an effective bait will do is usually stimulate the fish by vision to come and investigate what it's looking at. So the challenge we were given was to take a line of baits that already had really good visual cues and try and develop a scent that would add a positive stimulus for smell and taste for bass within these baits. Historically, anglers will run across a wide variety of things in the aisle where you can purchase baits that have scents. Many of these are actually things that might appeal to humans, whereas what appeals to a fish are actually compounds that the fish would normally be looking for when it's trying to feed. The biggest challenge was identifying key components that you could add to a bait to stimulate a bite without just throwing the kitchen sink at it. And so our goal was to find kind of the, the most effective with the least amount of ingredients necessary. And so we developed a series of potential compounds to do experiments with, and then we spent a lot of time running experiments with the fish, letting the fish tell us what they like best, and eventually coming up with the product that is bait fuel. When we developed our original scent, we used a water-based gel to deliver the scent to the fish where it was really the most effective and the fish could access it most easily. If you understand how the senses of smell and taste work in fish, the receptors only work when the compounds being delivered to them are dissolved in water. What has happened in the marketplace is that there are baits that have scents that are essentially unavailable to the fish because they're in oil-based delivery vehicles. There are also scents that are in baits that don't have a lot of good action. The second challenge we had was to then be able to apply that to you know, traditional proven materials that are used in the fishing industry and to get the same type of response we saw in our gel. So we worked with our final recipe and we tested different concentrations in these proven materials to see where that optimal value was before it was too much and actually became overstimulating for the fish. And that was the big thing we were trying to find was something that wasn't just as good as uh, a regular bait, it actually improved the performance. As an angler, I'm really excited that we're now able to kind of get that one-two punch, combining both the proven visual effectiveness of traditional baits with a scientifically proven scent that's going to make fish want to bite more and hold on longer.